Okay, in this video I'm going to hope to cover a few things about roof trusses and uh, what, how they actually function and what they do. A roof truss is often referred to as an engineered roof system and it is a structural component of the home that is used to hold up the roofing to support it to make sure that all of the water and snow runs off of the building. We don't want it coming into the building. Um, they are structural components. They cannot be cut in specific areas and this would be basically any area that you're not allowed to cut. If you don't know what you can and cannot cut, don't cut anything. That is the key thing here, and I just made another video on that. But someone asked me a question. I, I looked at it um, this morning, and they were wondering if you could support a certain part of the truss with a beam. Um, so let's just say that you have two walls on the outside holding up the truss. Um, I think what they were getting at was could you, could you basically remove this wall and support it in another area with a beam? You know, or leave this wall, but cut out a section, let's just say, and maybe you're going to put a skylight in and support this area with a beam on each side. And that would be no. You know, you cannot cut the bottom cord of a structural truss. You cannot com cut the components that are in these areas. Now, in, in most cases, but I am going to say most cases, if you're a do-it-yourselfer, you don't really know, you need to check with someone who does. Um, but in most cases, you are allowed to cut the areas out here for the fascia board to install the fascia board and the eaves um, for a specific roof. But like I said, if you don't know what you're doing, don't cut anything. Um, and that is a give me. Don't don't cut anything. Don't move any walls, and uh, you're gonna be fine. So and don't be surprised to find a roof system like this, and you think, hey, you know what? It's a roof. It's a truss roof. All of the load um, bearing walls are going to be located on the outside of the building. Well, don't be surprised if you come inside the building and you have a, another load-bearing wall that's holding up another section of one of these systems. So just don't jump into, you know, just don't make an assumption that uh, you can cut these areas here or that all walls on the interior of a building that uses an engineered roofing system um, are non-structural. Um, you might have a shear panel wall in there, something that is tying to the roof truss and to the system. <coughs> now, there is one more thing I would like to say, too, is that every once in a while you're going to have a wall that will run the distance here or the length of the truss, and it will actually be a shear wall that, that will be used to transfer a load all the way up to the top of the roof. And this would, this would be used, and when I say transfer a load, that's probably not the right thing. This wouldn't be something that would be um, transferring a load from the weight. It would be something that would be used if you had a wind blowing up against the building on either side. Um, a wall like this would provide structural support um, laterally. So this would be horizontally instead of vertically. And again, I might be getting into more, more than... Uh, more details than I need to here, but um, for the most part, that's that's about it for the basics of a roof truss. And just to go over what I said, don't cut these babies unless you're allowed to. Okay, I'm going to say that again. No cutting. I want a skylight in here. Absolutely not. Don't be con don't don't let me get don't get me wrong here. A lot of roof trusses are um, have a 14 and a half inch space in between them, or a 22 and a half inch space in between them. Now, you would be allowed to put a skylight in between these areas, as long as you what? Say it with me. As long as you do not cut any of the truss or the structural components here. So you can install skylights in between these if you have enough room. Just don't cut them. 
you know and I think this is the main reason why I make these videos is to warn homeowners or do-it-yourselfers and I hate to say this even contractors you know don't be confused and say hey you know what I can run a 2 by 12 here and um, use this to support my the weight or a beam you know no don't do it don't do it unless you've checked with a structural engineer and got the okay from someone who actually knows so um, like I said don't cut these things if you don't know what you're doing don't cut them anywhere and do not move any of these walls they need to stay where they're at hey I'm gonna move it here move it there move it here no keep them there last but not least um, don't be don't assume that uh, interior walls are going to be non structural this is a biggie don't assume that you can remove a wall on the inside because all of the weight is getting transferred to the outside and if you have any questions let me know I will try to make other videos um, that's basically how it gives me an opportunity to make more videos and um, and then of course inform um, share my knowledge with everyone else